So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your Nintendo Switch home button is just not working. Now what does this mean? Well basically the home button inside of your Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite or Switch OLED is located right here. Now sometimes this home button can actually be faulty. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and click on the home button one time and see if anything pops up. Now sometimes if you're on the home screen you may see that the home button you know basically maybe you know you can turn on your Nintendo Switch by clicking it. So if you're able to do that, if your Nintendo Switch you know, home button works sometimes, but other times it doesn't, that might mean the specific panel you're at may not be actually functional with the home button. So you're just going to have to kind of, you know, get to another system setting or system panel that will work with that home button. Now, if your Nintendo Switch is completely dead, you may want to power it on by clicking the power button up top. That might actually end up working too. Now, another thing you may want to see is if the actual home button, if you press it, if nothing happens, or if you hold it down, if anything happens, if you hold down the Nintendo Switch button, but you notice it comes into this panel, that might mean that the one click action is not suitable where you are and you may just have to hold it down in order for it to work. Another thing, if you notice that if you press super hard into it and it works then, but if you just kind of like gently tap into it and it doesn't work, that might mean that home button may be faulty. And in that case, you're just going to have to press harder every single time in order for you to go ahead and actually get that to work. So in that case, you're going to have to go ahead and just press harder. And if you press harder and then it works, that basically means that your Nintendo Switch, you know, home button may be faulty. And in that case, you're basically once again going to have to just either get it repaired or get it replaced. Finally, if none of those things are working, you can always try updating your Nintendo Switch by going into your system settings panel here, scrolling down until you see system, clicking on system update, and pretty much going through and updating your Nintendo Switch, and that might end up fixing the problem as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.